Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a hexagonal prism of base side 25 mm and height 50 mm, which is resting on HP on its base such that one of its base edges is perpendicular to VP. The prism is cut by a plane perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP at 45 degrees and passes through a point 10 mm from the top of the axis. Draw the development of the lateral surface of the prism. So here we can understand that we have got a hexagonal prism and the initial resting condition is it should be resting on one of its edges. Only then the edge would be parallel to the vertical plane as stated in the problem statement. Next coming to the cutting plane. The cutting plane is cutting the prism in such a way that it is inclined to HP at 45 degrees and is perpendicular to VP and is also passing through a point which is located at a distance of 10 mm from the top face of the axis. So with this data let us see how to draft the solution for the given problem statement. So we shall begin by constructing the top view of the hexagonal prism. So before that let us draw the XY line of thickness 0.18 mm select a line of thickness 0.13 and let us proceed with constructing the hexagon first so the edge length measures 25 mm the first angle is 0 followed by the edge that is 25 and the first angle is 60 followed by 25 60 into 2 25 60 into 3 25 60 into 4 then again 25 and the angle is 60 into 5 so this completes the construction of the hexagon but however we need to have one of its edges perpendicular to the VP so what we can do is we can select the hexagon select the rotate option and select the two corners like this ensure the copy is off and place it in such a way that the angle is 90 degrees. Now select the move option and place this top view of the hexagon prism at an appropriate position. So, so the height of the prism is 50 mm. So draw the rectangular faces of 50 mm length. So the axis will be overlapped by the rectangular face. So we are not showing the axis here. So this completes the top and the front view of the hexagonal prism with one of its edges perpendicular to the vertical plane. So now we'll go for annotation. So first let us annotate the reference line as X and Y. And also the planes as VP and HP. So now we'll take up from this left corner so the corner here is A and A1 where A is the corner of the top face of the prism and A1 is the corner of the base of the prism. So now the next corner is BB1 followed by CC1 D and D1 next corner point is E and E1 and next we do have got the corner F and F1 so we can just show the axis point by drawing one more diagonal so this point is O O1 now let us annotate the front view. So this is D1 dash which is visible first and behind that lies the corner E1 dash and similarly the top face will be D dash and inside the bracket E dash. Now we have got C1 dash which is visible first followed by F1 dash inside the bracket Similarly, the top face is C dash and inside the bracket it is F dash. And here we have got the corner B1 dash 
and a1 dash inside the bracket while the top face is b dash and inside the bracket a dash also we can denote the axis that is o1 dash and o dash here so they are not visible so they will be in between c1 dash and c dash and also f1 dash and f dash so that is where the axis will lie so this completes the annotation of the front and the top views of the hexagonal prism so now we'll go for constructing the cutting plane so before we do that let us show the dimensions so any one edge which is measuring 25 mm and the axis measures 50 mm so now we'll mark a point at a distance of 10 mm from the top face on the axis so the axis will be in between c1 dash c dash and f1 dash and f dash and let me mark a point at a distance of 10 mm from the top of the axis so from the top face a distance of 10 mm so go for smart dimensioning and show this distance of 10 mm so from this point i need to draw the cutting plane in such a way that it is perpendicular to vp and passing through the point at a distance of 10 mm from the axis and inclined to hp at an angle of 45 degrees so what we can do is we'll simply draw a line first then go for the angle between so change the angle to 45 degrees now go for extend to next and extend this cutting plane until it is intersecting all the rectangular faces go for the trim option and trim this portion so this is the cutting plane now let us highlight the lower part of the prism which is retained after it is cut so select a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm and let it be a continuous line so darken all the outer edges So we do have got a point between CD and also EF. So for that, let us draw the line from this point, intersect EF, let it be a 90 degree line, minus 90 degree line. So it is intersecting E and F and E1, F1 and also CD and C1, D1. So this is how we need to mark the points. So these two points that is, uh, okay. So now let us do the annotations of the intersection of the points on the rectangular faces so now first we shall consider the edge a1 and a go for the annotation so this point will be one dash in the front view and the point one is on the corner or on the line a1 a so here this is the point one in the top view similarly we have got b1 dash and b dash which is in front of a1 dash and a dash and i can denote that point as 2 dash and here it will be the point 2 and next i've got the edge c1 dash and c dash which is intersected by the cutting plane at a point 3 dash in the front view and at a point 3 in the top view and similarly the next corner or the edge line is d1 dash and d dash intersected at the point 4 dash in the front view and at the point 4 in the top view and next i've got e1 dash and e dash which is intersected at the point 5 dash and here this is 5 dash and next i've got f1 dash and f dash and that is at the point 6 dash here and this is 6 dash but however i need to show this point that is between c and d and uh, that is uh, c d and also e and f so what we can do is uh, we'll just take up this points or we can just show these measurements on the development and we can mark the points 
so now we'll cut open the prism so for that select a line of thickness 0.13 and keeping xy line as the reference line draw a line of length 25 into 6 because it is a hexagonal prism so it should be having six faces and the height is equal to 50 mm so let us divide this rectangle now into six equal parts each measuring 25 cross 50 So these are the six faces. So we'll do the annotation of the faces. So this is A1 and A. So this extreme left corner is A, A1. So we'll start it from this point only. B1, B. C1 and C. And this is D1 and D. Followed by E1 and E. And next we have got F1 and F and next we have got A1 and A. So this completes the cut section of the prism. So now let us mark the points. So one is on A1, A and A1 A. So this is the point one. And next we have got B1 and B2 which is uh, B1 and B which is denoted by the point 2 which is again on the same horizontal line and next we have got C intersected at the point 3 and next we need to indicate the point 4 so the point 4 will be here so we'll consider the point 4 to be this go to the annotation let us delete this point 4 here so now we'll consider that the point 4 is on this that is c1 d1 and cd so let us call this as the point 4 and this is the point 4 dash okay and next we have got uh, on d1 and d and also the point is between uh, e1 and f1 so that point can be called as 6 Okay, so this is point four. So this is point five, and this is exactly on the edge line. That is F one and F. So now let us mark these points. So measure the distance between. C and D so here we need to draw the line so between C1 and D1 between C and D let us draw a line of length 11.55 mm so we'll do the annotation simultaneously one this is the point two next this is the point 3 and between c and d we have got the point 4 and next d to e so this will be the point 5 5 dash 
and here this will be the point 5 and this we can call it as 6 and here 6 dash so now we have to measure the distance between e and 6 so go for the distance between e and the point of intersection that is 6 so 13.45 so it is on the edge e and f and the line will be having a length of 13 point four five so go for annotation the point five is on d and next it is on six here and then again f dash and f1 dash will be intersected by the point seven so this is seven dash and here it is seven it is not six so we'll just delete this point six use the extend to next to extend this to f1 and f and this is the point 7 and again this is the point 1 so now we shall show the development so go for the line of thickness 0 0.50 mm so we'll begin with point 1 and then 2 3 4 5 and then 6 is here we have got 7 1 complete the lower portion of the prism and then we shall join all the rectangular edges So with this we shall complete the development of the hexagonal prism as per the given condition in the problem statement. So we have got a hexagonal prism which is resting in such a way that one of its edges is perpendicular to the VP. So here this part can also be darkened that is the cut section of the prism. So it is resting on one of its edges only then it will be perpendicular to the VP and then we have got a cutting plane which is passing at a distance of 10 mm from the top of the axis and is inclined to the HP at an angle of 45 degrees and is perpendicular to the VP. So these are the salient points on the respective edges and which has been marked here in the right hand side. So with this we complete drafting the solution for the given problem statement. Thank you all for watching.